It's Kelly Green and Ken folks. I'll take any test you want. I test Tester's Airplane Glue, Vinny Test of Erdy, Ferrari Testerosa, President's Physical Fitness Test, Memory Test, Seal Test Ice Cream, Memory Test. <laughs> so Ken's got to take a drone test. Ken's a drone pilot, but I guess to become certified or become an official drone pilot, you have to take this test? It's an aeronautical knowledge test. Oh. It's given by the FAA to cover Part 107, the new rules that come out. Uh, well, they came out already. And, yeah, if you pass this, then you get certified. And then after that, you submit to be uh, background checked by the TSA. Oh, man. And then they take blood from your firstborn. Firstborn? I think something like that. I don't know. But, yeah, it's a whole thing. If you want to become uh, a commercial drone pilot, like charge money. Otherwise... If you're just a hobbyist, yeah, then don't worry about it. But I'm trying to be legitimate, man. You got to pay 150 for this test. Yeah, and even if I fail, it, if you take I it five to, times, it's 150 dollars each time. And you got to go to an airport today and take it, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So Ken has given me some sample questions. Is this similar to what you were studying last night? No, I was studying the FAA study guide. Oh. And I heard that even if you know everything on the study guide, it's only 65 percent. Of oh, you, what they're going to test you. You're in big trouble. Which is tricky. Why would they do that? What are the odds you pass the test today? Is it a long shot? Well, it's multiple choice, so. Okay. I got through high school with multiple choice, so. <laughs> Remember, know. when in doubt, pick C. Is that right? That's what they say. With multiple choice questions, C, if always... you have no idea what the answer is, always pick C. Okay. All right. Let me give you a question. Uh huh. A stall occurs when the smooth airflow over the unmanned airplane's wing is disrupted and the lift degenerates rapidly. This is caused when the wing, A, exceeds the maximum speed, B, exceeds maximum allowable operating weight, or C, exceeds its critical angle of attack. What choice is here? Oh, dear. <laughs> exceeds the maximum speed, exceeds maximum allowable operating weight, or exceeds its critical angle of attack. Critical angle of attack. That's C. That doesn't tell the answer. It doesn't tell the answer? <laughs> no, it doesn't even tell the answer. Oh, man. I'll just assume you got that one right. Sure. Which is true regarding the presence of alcohol within the human body? They're asking you stuff like this? Oh, yeah. Wow. A small amount of alcohol increases vision acuity. <laughs> what? Well, I don't know. I'm just reading them. Consuming an equal amount of water will increase the destruction of alcohol and alleviate a hangover. Judgment and decision-making abilities can be adversely affected by even small amounts of alcohol. That one. I'm assuming it's yeah, that, that one. That yeah. one yeah. I don't know if that's right, but that's what I would guess. There's people that, they're going to answer B. <laughs> yeah, you know, I always drink a glass of water with my whiskey. That'll even things out. <laughs> that's right. All right, one more question here. Yeah. And I have no idea if you're getting these right. When using a small UA, what's a UA? Unmanned aircraft. Okay, when using a small unmanned aircraft in a commercial operation, uh -huh. who is responsible for briefing the participants about emergency procedures? The FAA inspector in charge, the lead visual observer, or the remote PIC? What's a PIC? A uh, pilot in charge. Pilot in charge. And it's that one. I know that. There you go. I'll oh, give it to you. Right. I will give it to you, my friend. You, you going to give me a certificate? I don't have to go today? Uh, yes, and I won't even charge you nah, half price, $75. Deal, man. Okay. Thanks. I appreciate it. You are semi-certified. Broadcasting across the globe. This is madness. The <laughs> Kelly and Ken Show.